time, you know, in by drawing analogy with a Lego game. I think that's a very, very good, good analogy. And the catalysis. So catalysis is a wonderful field because uh, with one molecule, you can use, reuse, of course, enzyme your enzymes in your body and so on. You know, many, many biological reactions are catalytic. Mostly enzymatic, but we use transition metals as a catalyst, and many of some of them are gold, some of them are iridium, some of them use rhodium. These are or platinum, as you know, they are very expensive. And if you if you produce gasoline using uh, gold or uh, platinum or rhodium and so on, uh, you have to turn them over many many times, and uh, luckily. With our reaction, so-called Negishi and Suzuki cross-coupling reaction, in many cases, only recently, we are finding that we can turn over our palladium catalyst million times, and in some many other cases, billion times. So that's one one very beautiful feature of uh, this part of chemistry. If you turn if you turn over or if you successfully ask the palladium to turn over a million times, a million dollars per unit per mole catalyst, cost is reduced to one dollar that anybody can pay. So, so this catalytic aspect is uh, one, one uh, truly remar remarkable feature of uh, what we have been doing. And the transition metals allow us to achieve that goal. I hope that <laughs> will, in a vague way, <laughs> short way, uh, describe, <laughs> you know, I hope you understand some, some of this. I am going to need you to, to sit down because we also have people on the phone in other countries ah. to use that specific mm -hmm. back. What I'd like to do is, is uh, Take questions from the room first, and then we will go to the telephone for those questions, and then we'll wrap it up. So, if there are questions from any of the reporters in the room, I'll take those now. Open your question, Jeff. Uh, I think what we'd like to do is English first, because I'm not sure who we have on the phone, and then we're going to finish in Japanese. That's all right. Um, what do you think Professor Brown would say about your award if he was here? I'm 100% uh, certain and he would, he would be extremely pleased because as I told you, he was the one who offered us both, myself and uh, Kira Suzuki, to be a nominee. He nominated, he began, uh, well, I must confess that uh, these things are quite often uh, done behind the screen, you know. So uh, some, some other people may have nom nominated us before, but uh, for sure we know that uh, he began nominating two of us in 2001. It's been uh, eight or nine years. So with that, as you can imagine, he, he will be extremely pleased with, uh, with this happening. And uh, if I were in his position, I hope probably I won't be able to do that, but <laughs> I would be extremely happy. I have some uh, 30 or probably more people acting as uh, academic, you know, so-called professors all over the world, myself. Mm -hmm. But uh, they are still young. <laughs> Is that okay? Uh huh. Okay. It's kind of a follow up question. What would you want to say to Mr. Brown if he's alive about this noble party? Well, uh, I would probably say about the same thing. I thank him for his uh, wonderful mentorship, you know, which he, he taught me not the specific items, but how to, how to do research, and how to be, well, he, 
he is uh, one eternal optimist. <laughs> and uh, I don't think I can still match him in that respect. Uh, he's, he's, he's really optimistic. And uh, so I, I thank him. And uh, I go from there. Yes, uh, you said, uh, Professor, you said there are so many researchers, in this, uh, great researchers in your area. Yes. So it's, there are many candidates other than you. Mm -hmm. And you felt agonized because your friend, close friend is not included in this prize. Right. Well, uh, why do you think would you, you, uh, you were picked? Uh, <laughs> what is your advantage in this area yourself? Well, I don't, I don't know. Uh, this, I, I am vaguely aware that uh, this pro selection process is uh, very time-consuming, uh, energy-consuming, very, very rigorous system involving a um, large number of people. Uh, even though I, you know, I don't know exactly, you know, but if I gather bits and pieces <laughs> of information that uh, I have, Corrected. And uh, let me see. What was uh, your main key question? Ah, why we were we were selected? Yeah, yeah. So uh, first of all, I think uh, uh, one key word is uh, palladium. Palladium. And uh, uh, most of us in this area, for instance, uh, learned this transition metal trick from, uh, for instance, Professor Tamao who now is at uh, Riken, near Tokyo, mm -hmm. who used mainly nickel. And uh, I must confess that I was, I became interested in, in his work. And I started using nickel. Nickel didn't work well for me in many cases. Then I went back to the periodic table. Then, of course, some of you may know, nickel, palladium, platinum. Those are the three lined up vertically, and uh, we saw uh, they they are lined up vertically for a very, very good reason. They're in the family, you know, family of elements. And then I hit palladium, and the palladium turned out to be the element in, in this area. So that may have influenced, may have some. And uh, uh, so, and also uh, versatility. Uh, our reactions are applicable so widely. So you might say this has uh, broadly influenced the art of organic synthesis uh, more than others. And some people, like uh, Professor Tsuji in Japan, and uh, Professor Barry Toast, maybe I, sh I should be very careful in naming these, uh, they discovered and invented a study, uh, some more specific, some, some more specific reactions. Mm -hmm. But they, uh, for us, luckily, they did not uh, widely expand it. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, maybe it's my nature. <laughs> Just wanted to explore this way and that way. So we have, uh, roughly speaking, we have considered 100 different cases, mm -hmm. not just one or two. Mm -hmm. So wide scope may be another factor. And in reality, in, uh, in uh, real life situation, real industrial situation, uh, it is my vague understanding. These are difficult information to gather in a precise way, so please understand that. But uh, uh, the Gishi version and the Suzuki version, for various reasons, appear to be most widely actually practiced, used. So these might have. Thank you. A question in the back? Well, I'll ask you later in Japanese. Okay.
I'm still, you know, uh, curious about your um, advantage of yourself, you know, but in a very general way. You know, uh, you mentioned about you know, the, you know, your uh, Mr. Professor Brown as a great optimist. Uh, mm -hmm. optimist. So yeah. How do you define yourself as, as a scientist? Uh, myself? Yeah. <clears throat> well, I hate to say this loudly, <laughs> but I was, uh, I was, uh, I was the best student at uh, Shonan High School, which was a very, uh, <laughs> back then, was a very prestigious, uh, <laughs> and, you know, uh, high-ranking school. So, and I didn't know that I, I, would, uh, I would turn out to be like that. Naturally, I had a tremendous amount of uh, confidence in my raw ability, uh, no matter what I, I pursue, uh, I think I can learn, I can learn well, I can, uh, I can set a high goal and try to, try to, uh, try to reach a high level. So that one, I think, is, uh, you know, you, one acquires as a junior high student, a high school student, and uh, I have to say that because uh, in college, I was uh, trying. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is not my fault, not uh, university's fault. But uh, I failed to learn learn uh, well enough. And uh, but system would uh, would uh, push us through <laughs> graduation gate. So <laughs> that was uh, that was the reality. Then I faced uh, that uh, problem. I, you know, I faced uh, when I went into industry. Uh, so my superior asked me to be in charge of this area of research. And I said, uh, "Who is the leader? There is no one. <laughs> so you, <laughs> you have to be the leader of this team." And I said, "Wait a minute. <laughs> Do I know?" <laughs> Do I know enough about this one? Now that triggered uh, my other, yeah, so uh, further, further study, which turned out to be very useful. I, from ground floor up at the professional level, I rebuilt, I was able to rebuild myself as a graduate student in this country, <laughs> in Philadelphia. So other than that, uh, so, I have, even if I may not be good initially, I feel that uh, I will find my way to take care of what I need to take care of. So that, that kind of confidence uh, I may have. So, but I have to have something. <laughs>